Real good now. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Rogue Legacy, as requested by Punisher Hotel. I will dissect this game, and I've spent a lot of time in it, about 14 hours. So you'll be able to choose your heir every time you die, which is wonderful. They all have different classes and different, uh, some are bad and some are good. We'll call them traits. That's what they are. They're traits. <laughs> so Copralalia basically makes you curse. Barbarian Queen has a ton of health, uh, which makes it one of my favorite classes because I'm not as good as some. Nearsighted, everything far away is blurry for a spell sword, and the assassin has low stats but a lot of critical, and he's an ectomorph, so everything sends him flying, probably into spikes, so we're gonna be the Barbarian Queen. Okay, so from my last venture into the dungeon, I have 7,796 gold, which is a pretty fair amount. I've upgraded my castle quite a ways, and there's still more to unlock from what I understand. Randomized children seems like something that might come in useful if I hate all of the rolls that I get. I think that's about all we can afford. Oh, no. Health up. Wonderful. You can buy some upgrades here. The blacksmith offers plenty of stuff, but you do have to buy the blueprint. This one's 1800 Um, And you gotta find the blueprint even before you buy it. These are enchantments, which can be used on any piece of armor that you have as long as you once again unlock the blueprint and have the gold to unlock the spell. 50% of the money is not much. Here you go. 96. I keep 97. Ha ha ha. I got over on you. Real good. Real good now. Oh, found a, a coin bag, so that's nice. So this is some tense platforming action in this game, which is one of the things I like most about it. It does have a gimmick that works relatively well, that being choosing your children and whatnot. And it's enjoyable. I sat down, played it with my roommates many a time. Ooh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, okay. And we all had a grand time playing the Rogue Legacy and picking our weird, stupid children. Wish you could pick your kids. That would be a thing. But you can't. My mom's stuck with me. Oh, there's a fire mage. He's gonna do bad stuff. Okay, alright, alright, fine. I really like how tight the controls are. You could do, like, little wiggly things like that. Which impresses even me. And I'm the one doing it. Like, oh my god! How did he make it? You could change the jukebox song. This one actually is one of my favorite. Pistol Shrimp! Although you don't get a gun in this game. You can change your spell here. Uh, I have the scythe now, which I like more than the shock room because the scythe just keeps going. And the shock room does come back to you. I haven't used any of my spells yet. Really, you should save those things for uh, when you need them. But I'm not so intelligent. Oh my god, it hurts. Oh, it, oh, it's terrible. So the game gets pretty intense pretty quick. Especially if you venture into the wrong part of the castle. There are, I believe, four parts to each castle. Or the castle. <laughs> and each has a boss. Which is devastatingly hard to get to. As well as defeat. Oh my god. This guy. Let me tell you about this guy. But I got the ranger chest plate. Whoop whoop! I need to get more gold though. Before I eat it. Oh, not the gold. Just like dying. It's a euphemism for dying, you see. Oh, see, there's a mimic chest up there. I wanted to go up there so bad. And now I'm not so excited to. I want those. Aw, oh, crap. Kill it, kill it! Oh, I can't pass through the walls. Oh, I could if I was a dwarf. You see that differently colored spot at the top? Hmm. Oh well. Not a dwarf. Not with this character. I could lock it down with the architect, which is that guy with the big screw that is sitting outside. I saw that chest move. 
You can trick me. No! 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 No, no! Eat spells! Mm. Ah. I need all this gold. You don't understand. Okay. There's a little jackpot. But I think I need to go even further than that. 7,000 gold is a lot. Okay, goodbye. Oh no. Okay. I thought she was gonna thrust. He ran across the floor. We got 51 health. It's not much. But we'll see what we can do with it. Oh, 93. That's wonderful. Here's a journal entry! They are littered throughout the castle and tell about the plot, which hasn't really interested me that much because I was kind of sure that this is just a beat-em-up kind of thing and I can't tell you if the plot's any good or not. <laughs> Sorry. But aren't you a reviewer and this is that part of the review and, well, it is, but I wasn't playing this game initially to review it. Ooh, Death Defy! Which is a thing that I bought in the castle. Which is pretty helpful. And I died. Hooray! <laughs> uh. Go again. Gay assassin. ADHD. Mm. Well, the Spelunker is a, a, he a hero that gets a lot more uh, gold. But it gets a bonus to gold. I think it's 30%. ADHD lets you move faster and clumsy breaks everything you walk past. So it's a really good class to pick. It also has the Scythe spell, which is one of my particular favorites. The Lich King. Uh, he lets you feed off the dead. He starts with 1 HP and gets more. Not that great. And then Flameberry surrounds you with a bunch of fireballs. Assassin again. He's gay, which doesn't really do anything. Uh, and he shoots a dagger, which isn't as good as the Scythe. Oh, here's some gold. Mmm, delicious gold. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. And that's closed. It was a boss door. Now it's gone forever. Because I beat the boss. Jump into the chandeliers! Get all your money! You need all the money! Oh my god. Okay. Not something I enjoy. No, 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 Ugh. Didn't want to do it. Had to get the gold. Get the gold, get the gold. Ah. Wonderful. Now we continue onwards and upwards. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Mm. No excuse. Get away from me. I could really use some fod. Break everything just by walking past it. Clumsy and ADHD are probably two of my favorite traits. Yay, break everything! Uh oh. Oh, fart! Run! <laughs> oh. Opa! Get the coin. I don't need MP, I need. Yes, HP. Oh, fart. Okay, alright. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. It's good. It's fine. It's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Go like that. Oh, god damn it! Okay. That's bad. Oh, it passes through the barrier. Damn it! Oh. <laughs> and he goes back there. Slipped and was impaled by spikes while she kind of jumped, but that's okay. See what else we got here. Paladin. Perfectly balanced. Bald. Does not do anything except lowers your self-esteem. Oh, it's a lady. A bald lady. <laughs> That's really lowers your self-esteem. And OCD. Breaks stuff to re re restore MP. Re 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 remix. <laughs> God damn. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Ambivalous. Uh, doesn't let you cast spells properly. It switches your spells every time you cast. Colorblind. Does basically takes the color away from everything. Dementia lets you see or makes you see enemies that aren't there and dwarfism obviously is smaller. 
And she's a lich, so we're gonna try out a lich. That seems like fun to me. And we have enough gold to spend, which is wonderful. I suppose we'll get some more health or... Mmm, armor. Mm-hmm. We'll do armor. Let's do it, little dwarf. Not like... Never mind. <laughs> Yay! Back to the castle. Obviously, you can see how many, many hours would be spent playing this game. I was about to say wasted, but they are not wasted because it is an amazingly fun game. This room looks the same. That's a bad painting. You can see because they have a darker outline around and they kind of wiggle as you walk past them. Not in a good way. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah! Jeez. Go get this bone creep. Bleh. Can't get me, I'm the dwarf! Reached up deaf guy. Alright. Oh my god, there's so much stuff flying around down here. Okay, oh! I knew it was gonna happen. I didn't want it to happen. But it certainly did. 13 gold! 13 gold! Ooh! Pray for assistance! Sharon Zobel lets you keep all of the gold that you collect so you can go through a second time and stack up all of the golds, which is wonderful as long as uh, you don't just suck your first time around, <laughs> which, uh, you know, I've done. It's not outside the realm of possibility. Just look at me now. Since the dwarf does have a smaller sword, it's a lot harder to hit the enemies, but he can get into secret places. More assistance. Hedgehog's Curse. I don't know. <laughs> What's it do? What's it do? I don't know. Oh, for the measly sub of 25%, you can open one chest. The other tri will triple what you paid. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I shouldn't have done that. You were lucky this time. Oh, it's a good thing. Yay! I have failed that gamble every single time I've done. I was so sure that the... The elf was just being a dick and like taking people's money. Hokaj, massive damage but cannot crit. One of my favorite classes as well. Mm, let us do this. It'd be greater if he was a giant though. I'm gonna get health up. Ooh yeah. Oh, don't, 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 please don't. No, don't. <laughs> Daddy, no. Oh, god damn it. Get all this money. I need the money. Oh god. Oh why? Okay. No! No! <laughs> why? They're everywhere. Bit! Bit! Oh, another chest. Oh, it's a fucking fake! Oh no! Oh, they did it twice in a row. Bunch of assholes. Kill them! Kill everything! I have no mana. I have no health. I have no nothing! Why'd I do that? So friends, this has been Rogue Legacy. It is quite a fun game and relatively cheap on Steam for many, many hours. Better than a movie. <laughs> I give this game a solid 7 out of 10. Thank you so much to Cellador Studios for bringing it to us. And I hope you guys will join me for whatever I decide to do next. Until then, this has been Rogue Legacy. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. See you next time. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.